Welcome to Fluid Mechanics and Machinery Laboratory. The subject code is 18MER57. In this laboratory, we will be conducting experiments on flow machining devices and, and power producing and power absorbing fluid machineries. So, in today's class, uh, we are in experiment 5, it is impact of jet on weights. In fluid mechanics, we have studied that uh, whenever a jet strikes any surface, there will be a force created and we need to find out uh, the amount of force exerted by that so for that we have a theoretical formula so what we have to do here is the aim is to find the coefficient of impact on weights so we need to uh, we know the theoretical formula but there will be few losses when the fluid is flowing through the pipes and when it is coming out of the jet so we need to consider those losses and that should be multiplied to the actual equation or the theoretical equation to find out the actual force exerted on the vein by the jet. So for that purpose, so now in today's class we are uh, with the help of the impact of jet, on, jet experimental setup, we are going to find out the coefficient of impact on the jet or with the help of that we will be able to find out the theoretical actual force exerted with the help of theoretical relationship. In this experiment, we can conduct the force exerted on a flat or an inclined or a curved vein. So, in today's class, we will conduct experiment on a flat vein. The same procedure is applicable for inclined as well as a curved vein. Why do we need to study the impact of jet is a very big question. Most of us have heard about the hydro power plants. Okay. In the case of hydro power plants, we use water, the kinetic energy as well as the potential energy available in the water and convert that into mechanical energy. If I take a periton beam, which is a pure impulse turbine, where only the kinetic energy of the fluid water will be converted into mechanical energy. So, one, if you have seen the working of a periton turbine, you can see that the water jet impinges or strikes the blades of the Pelton beam. Now, as a mechanical engineer, we should be able to find out what is the amount of force exerted by the jet on the vein. Okay, it's not a simple case. The vein is moving and the jet is also moving. So, uh, what we do is first we start with a simple case, sorry, where we keep the vein stationary and we will study the amount of force exerted by the jet on the vein. And this force depends on many factors. It depends on the diameter of the jet, it depends on the velocity of the jet and it depends on the fluid used in the jet. Calculating the force is very important as this will help us in designing a proper turbine. So for that purpose, we need to study the impact of jet on veins and in today's experiment, we are going to find out the coefficient of impact on the jet. Now we will see the experimental setup and we will conduct experiment and then we will come back here to do the tabulation and calculation. Later we will see important viva questions for this experiment. Now let us look at the experimental setup for impact of jet on the experiment. Here we have a top, we have the weight, here we have the load set. The water will be supplied to the jet with the help of a centrifugal pump which is present below, below this and the water will be connected in a tank below this. In the instrumentation panel, so we need to know the to find out the force exerted by the jet on the vein. So we need to know the delivery pressure. So for that we have a pressure gauge here which gives us the delivery pressure. And then to find, we need to find out the mass product of water. For that purpose, we have a rotometer. And we need to know the amount of force exerted, that is the actual force exerted on the vein. For that purpose, we have a load cell. And the load cell reading is converted into gauges and they are called this digital indicator. So these are the measurements which we need to take in this experiment. So we can, we can conduct the experiments of the flat vein which we have mounted here. And then we can conduct the same experiment for the card vein. So this is a card vein where we have an hemisphere shape here. So the same experiment uh, can be conducted for this vein. So what we have to do is we need to remove this front cover and then we need to remove the 
5.91 newtons and the last column is coefficient of impact for that we have the equation coefficient of impact is equal to f actual by f theoretical or in other words I can say that actual force will be equal to theoretical force into coefficient of impact so this uh, we got it as 0 0.54 and similarly for the second trial we have done the calculations for the second trial I have kept the discharge as 30 liters per minute and the, cage, um, the force was 0 0.495 which is equal to 4.86 newtons and the pressure was 0.7 kg per centimeter square which is equal to 7 uh, meters of water then the velocity we got it as 11.48 and the theoretical force was 10.34 newtons and the coefficient of impact was 0 0.47 with this uh, we with this we complete the conduction as well as conduction tabulation and calculation of the coefficient of impact now let us go through viva question 